and welcome to another Reckless Eating Challenge. We are here at Fuddruckers in Ontario, California, where we are going to be taking on their Fat Tuesday Burger Challenge. It is a uh, five pounds worth of food here between the burger, the fries, and we have the drink as well. I'm going to be taking this on along with Natter right here and uh, make sure to check out his channel and my channel. All the links are going to be down in the description below and let's go ahead and get it started. Let's see the behind the scenes stuff for your, the journey on yours. So we got to get going there though. Go. They're pressing us for time. We're on so, the time limit. Yeah, we're on time here we right. go. All right. You're already, you're already technically into the challenge. So. Are, are we in it? Are we yeah. just starting now? Here we go. Yep. Go. Here All we right. go. Let's go Natter. Yeah. Oh. They, they offered, they were like, do you want cheese on it? And I was like, you know what, that, it would probably make it taste better. Look at the size of this bun! <laughs> it'd make it taste better, but like, then you're adding, you know, half a pound of cheese or something mm -hmm. ridiculous. So I told them no. Oh, Hopefully that's okay. It's hot. Yeah, I imagine. I think that's part of the challenge, is mm -hmm. burn your mouth. Yep. That's ridiculous. too big. Mm. I've never had a woman tell me that before. Huh. <laughs> never a problem we've had. Damn, that is a big slab of meat. Holy crap. Also something we've never heard before. So you're gonna save that bun for last then, huh? Is that your goal here? You're gonna take the meat down first? Hit all the proteins first and hope I can get the rest down. So that's like probably three and a half pounds just of meat alone. You know, I think you're gonna get through that no problem, but then man, that bread is gonna be. And then the fries on top of it, holy crap. For three, three and a half pounds is so much food, like. I feel like I would do so like a meat. pound. You do like a pound and then I'm, that, that, that pound is a good satisfying night at like a grill, like a family grill or something, like a yeah. barbecue. Mm -hmm. And then after that I walk away feeling like crap. But yeah, now you have to do four or five family grills. <laughs> And then detoxing off of all, <laughs> all the sodium and meat that you just ate. Mm-hmm. A bit dry. I imagine because you don't have cheese or condiments really, other than dipping the ketchup. And I'm guessing you're going to be sticking or uh, switching to the A16 sauce after this, because like I can't go get real you soon. I know we got no backup <laughs> you hands. Should have had more. No stage hands. No. Oh man, you're gonna hate it when you get to the bread though. Mm hmm. That's gonna be abysmal. That's always the biggest pain in the ass. But that's the point of saving it, right? No? I don't know. I'm looking over at Natter for support. I mean, generally, helping. from what I've seen, yeah, they usually save the bread for last. Because bread fills you up quicker than everything else. So that, I remember uh, to me to when Chris did the five pound My God burger and uh, uh, the goose was there, one of the other competitive eaters. That's what he told us. There you go. Just avoid, uh, avoid the bread till the very end, yeah. <laughs> I like how you're getting more and more conservative with your dip <laughs> for the ketchup. Like you started so aggressive, and now it's like little dabs. I'm running out. I'm trying to make so it precious. go. I'm trying to make it last. He's got impressive speed, Matter, but he just doesn't have the volume that you do. Mm -hmm. It's impressive to see how fast you can eat. All right, here we go. A1 <laughs> steak sauce. Now, A1's delicious, so I, I, I love, love A1. A1. Yeah. Let's make this happen. On burgers, it is really good stuff. And there's like people Remember that, when we chugged a bunch of that shit? <laughs> oh, yeah, you and Andrew. <laughs> there's like people, though, that say that if you put A1 on a steak, that like you're a heathen. Mm. It's like they're like, oh, steaks are supposed to be just meant to be eaten, you know, as is. Ugh. Do you give me a good steak, and I'll go ahead and eat it as is. You give me a cheap steak, I'm gonna douse it in A1. Ketchup? Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, I'm, I, I've done ketchup and steak before. They're giving Trump a lot of shit for that right now, but like, I don't, if you like ketchup, you like ketchup. I'm definitely slowing down. Yeah, I know this, you are. This thing is, that's a big pizza patty. Yeah, this is, you're eating a lot of Death Toll's wife. Tearing through that first part though, I just can't wait to see you take your first bite of the bread <laughs> and just be like, oh no. <laughs> Does it, a roadblock. Bread is huge. They must have these specially just for this challenge, right? They just bring these bread in. Yeah. Yep. They bake it just for this. <laughs> you could kill a man with that bread. I just start throwing headshots and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at. Yeah, that's huge, and it doesn't look very appetizing. It's really soft. The under part looks good, but the the outer part does not look very appetizing.
Bread time. Here we go. <laughs> what, what do you do? You just dip it and eat it, bro. <laughs> Wash it. Bunch of. I like how I'm getting tips from the pro over yeah, there. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> Thank God. You got potential. Mmm, kind of sweet like a uh, Hawaiian roll. That's good. Mm -hmm. Hawaiian roll's really good. I'm getting really full. <laughs> I imagine. Mmm. Still pretty good. Oh my God, bread is bad. <laughs> my entire stomach just went, whoa. <laughs> that oh. The bread's raw. Really That's why they do it last. They get to enjoy it a little bit. I can't use enough liquids to get this down. I, I can't believe I've almost put away a bun. Yep. Only one more bun and a bunch of fries to go. <laughs> <laughs> My body doesn't want to breathe anymore. Your stomach just gets incredibly full. Every bite. Every bite is a test of you telling your brain, shut up. <laughs> shut, shut up. <laughs> I'm going to eat this. <laughs> you eat the top or the bottom? You eat the top first. The top is really airy. Yeah. The bottom is a little more dense. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Oh my god, it's so heavy. This is what you need to smack someone with. <laughs> Boom, right in the face. Could you imagine it with thud? You made it this far, you might as well keep going. I'm trying. Like, oh man, that has so much weight in those fries. <laughs> feel the, the, oh, you're holding I'm gonna, the camera. I'm gonna feel Never it mind. once you fail, and then I start consuming it. <laughs> Gladly. Only 20 bucks to do this challenge, though, but it's only something they do once a year on this specific date that they announce it. But $20 for five pounds of food is a damn good deal, even if, like, you just come in here not to do the challenge, just to have fun, have a big burger, just like, then you can put, like, condiments, cheese, everything you want. You could bring a date here, and you could both split this and still have leftovers. Mm -hmm. Unless you're Chris. <sighs> Unless you're Chris, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I won't be able to push any further. There, there's no way. Um, okay, we have one tap out. That bread has been absolutely a killer to get through. I don't know how you would get through this bottom bun. <laughs> It was so thick. I'm so full I can't even breathe. Well, they can go ahead and they can check out your channel down below. Give you a subscribe and check out the journey of us getting here and whatnot. Had a discussion of the car you filmed. But uh, also click over on the Natter's channel. Natter's still going as we speak. He's so still going strong. Check it out. As always, uh, we have our guys fail and then you watch Natter succeed. So <laughs> there you go. See you next time. Bye.